I'm going to go over some of the high frequency words from your story this week. So high frequency words are those words that you're going to see repeated in lots of different stories in different texts because they're very common words. We're going to start first with words that start with our consonants. And on each slide, you'll see our consonant chart, which, which helps us know how the first consonant or the first sound is made in our mouth. And that will help you to be able to remember uh, some of these words. So at the beginning, you'll see the p, which is a stop formed with our lips together in our mouth. P, and your word is poor, p, or. Go ahead and say the word poor. Now, poor is a multiple meaning word, and this type of poor means that you don't have a lot of something. So you don't have a lot of money, or you don't have a lot um, of food, and so maybe you are poor for those reasons. Next, we're going to move over to the b. So if you notice p and b, they're made in the same place in your mouth. The difference is the voicing of your voice box. The b is a voice sound. So the word you need to know is bl. Ooh, blue. This is the color blue. This also is a multiple meaning word. So we're not talking about how the wind blew the leaves um, in the tree. This is the color blue. So we have the blend bl, and then this is a vowel team of ue. So go ahead and say blue. Next, we're going to move over to the d, d. Okay. So your word from your story is d a. Go ahead and say the word day. You will also have this word, and I put a heart here because this word is a tricky word, and so it says does, d, uh, z. Now, it's very common for the S to be voiced and sound like a Z, so that part's not tricky, but the O-E in the middle says uh, and that is a tricky part because that's not a regular vowel team, so you need to make sure that you practice the word does, and remember that that vowel is a trick part. Moving over to our g, g, so made in the back of your throat, and your, it's a voice sound. G, e, t, gets. Go ahead and say gets. Now you're gonna have this one again. It's a heart word. This means it's tricky. G, o, z. So the o, e here is making the long o sound. Goes. Now, the spelling is similar to does. They both have O-E-S, but they're tricky because does sounds like an uh, goes sounds like an, a long O sound, goes. Next, we're going to have our fricatives, this whole row. Here is fricatives, which means you have some air that's being pushed out of your mouth, and it's going through your mouth, your teeth, your tongue as we make these sounds. So your first word is f-l-i. Say the word fly. Next, we have this word f or say the word for. Now we're going to move over to our TH digraph that is voiced. So when it's voiced, it means we're saying v. Your tongue goes under your teeth and you're pushing the air out to say v. V, a, t. Say the word that. Now, V, I, S, say the word this. Okay, moving over to our S, S. This one is a tricky word, and this is a very high frequency word. We see this in um, almost every story that's written because people are always talking. This word is said. Look at the letters, S, E, the A, I is making E sound, and that's the trick part of the word, and then you have the D. Then we're going to move on, and this word is similar to said, um, but when we look at it, a lot of students will say the word says, because that's what it looks like. But here in the middle, we say eh, says, so we pronounce it says, and that's when you're talking. Uh, Mrs. Anderson says, or Mrs. Anderson said. And then we have this word that has that same beginning sound, I sky. So say the word said, say the word says, say the word sky. Okay, and now we're going to move over to our H that says, 
So it's made in the back of your throat, but your throat's open as you're blowing the air out. So this word again, another trick word, have. A -v. Now, oftentimes we see an E at the end of the word and it tells us to make the A a long A. And that's where this rule does not function. The E is here because in English, no words can end in a V. So the vowel is A. Okay, so you have to say have. Moving on to the woo. Your lips are together and you're blowing the air out. Woo. This is another trick word because it looks like an, I mean, it is an A and it says uh, woo, uhs. Say the word was. Another one, woo, eh, mm. When. Now, in other parts of the country, they might pronounce this. Hum. In California, we tend to pronounce our W and our WH the same. So we say was, when, woo, eh, mm, wins. Go ahead and say wins. The team wins the game. And then our liquids down here, uh, this one is going to be l, a, Mm. Say the word long. And then we're going to move on to our vowels. So here's your vowel valley. So remember that this is representing the shape of your mouth while we're making the vowel sounds. And we start with our mouth in a tight smile. And we say E. So this vowel sound is E. When I look at the word, the word in your story is each. So the E-A is a vowel team representing the sound E. E. So four letters in that word, but two sounds, two phonemes, each. So say the word each. Now we're going to go down. Our mouth is going to start to open more. And we're going to say ah. This word is as. Say as. And then once we're at the bottom, we're going to start to close our mouth just a little bit. And this part, this is one of the um, hardest words or trickiest words of and why this is tricky is because the O says uh and the F says v. So both letters don't make the sounds that we would normally think of for those letters. So you have to make sure that you're able to read the word of and practice that one. All right. If you need to watch this again, go ahead and watch it again and see if you can read each of the words in about two seconds to build your automaticity.